for you guys and I am so 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 excited for today's video because it is a DIY and I haven't done a DIY video in so long. So today's video is a spring DIY slash ideas video and I'm very excited because I love DIYs and I love decor so I'm just excited. So before I talk about the storm let's just jump right into today's video. So I'm going to be for real with you guys, this is not really a DIY, this is more like a, like an inspiration home decor thingy or a idea, I guess. I think it's so cute, so I just had to share with you guys. Anyways, so basically I'm the type of person that gets tired of my decor pretty often and I feel the need to change it like out of the blue. So to be budget friendly, I decided to pick up this wire thingy. This wire thingy is from Home Depot and it was about like 12 to $13. Super cheap, super inexpensive and lightweight. It's awesome, I'm feeling it. And basically my dad just hammered it to the wall. And to add a little more personality and flair to it, I decided to have a really relaxed day, you know, listen to some great music, sing along, and flip through some old magazines. So basically I just flipped through the magazines and ripped up pages that I liked and clipped those right onto the wire thingy. So this is awesome because you can interchange it, so if you get tired of the pictures you're looking at or your inspiration changes or whatever, you can just simply hang something else up. So this one is definitely my favorite DIY ever. I think it's so cute and it's seriously so, so, so cheap. I'm not gonna go into too much detail in today's video just because I already did this tutorial, like a full out tutorial already on this channel somewhere. So I'll link that right down below or somewhere in this video. I'll link that old tutorial so that you guys can figure out how to make this yourself. It's so, so, so cute. So basically all you wanna do is grab a bunch of tissue paper, make some tissue paper flyers, cut out a letter, with foam core and glue those tissue paper flyers right onto there. It is so cute. It is so easy and so cheap. I have um, a monogram letter of this as well, of this DIY, in my parents' house. And it's a letter J to represent Jennifer. So cute. And then I also have this one here in today's video where it says eat. I'm putting it in my dining room. I think it's so cute. It adds so much texture. It makes the dining room a little bit more fun. I'm just so excited. I love it. You guys should definitely check out the tutorial again in the description down below or somewhere in this video. Click around and hopefully it'll lead you right to that tutorial. Okay, so the last DIY is this super cute rustic vase thingy. Apparently I don't have any proper names for any of my DIYs quite yet, but it's okay because it's super cute and I'm happy with it. So basically all you want to do is grab an empty jar of some sort or um, I'm using a pasta jar because we just had we just had pasta, so um, I just cleaned that out and I'm just using it for this DIY, so basically it is free. And all you want to do now is grab decorative ribbon or like a rope of some sort and a hot glue gun. And all you want to do is glue it and wrap the twine, string, decorative ribbon or rope around your empty jar until you reach the top. It is super easy and so inexpensive. I think my decorative ribbon was like 99 cents from Winners because they were having a sale. Anyways, this whole DIY is super, super easy. And now all you want to do is pick up some flowers, whether it be real or fake. Unfortunately, I'm incapable of keeping live plants alive. So I picked up some fake daffodils from the dollar store. I just put it in the jar, and it just looks so, so, so cute. I think it complements the monogram sign that says eat. I think it complements that so well, and I think my dining room is getting so cute. video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely loved how they turned out. I think it's so, so, so cute and they're just so cute. I don't know what else to say. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite because my favorite is probably... Probably that eat sign right behind me because I think it's so cute and I've been like thinking of that DIY idea for so long and I'm glad I was able to execute it and share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful life, and I will see you next week. Bye!